So first of all, I love what you're saying about this this trick in the word separation, right? And like, I used to I used to read about this and hear about this in the, in the twin flame community. Like, oh, there's there's really no separation. Like, separation is illusion. And in that moment, I was so triggered because I was like, oh no, I'm actually in separation now. Like, you know, I I couldn't see that line, that fine line. And now I can totally relate to that ambiguity, mm-hmm. right? It's, it's just a point of view. Like in, in the moment I'm right now, I could tell myself I'm, I'm in union or in separation. And it's like well, how I choose to feel in the moment, right? And I feel sometimes we need to choose to feel in separation because there is something in that that helps us heal and helps us see stuff. So if you are in separation, just allow that to be a core part of your healing journey. You know, allow that in, you know, allow that to be your teacher, mm-hmm. your master and learn from from that experience and le- also learn that you are choosing to see that. And it's fine. It is your teacher. It's your master in that moment. It is teaching. It is serving you in the moment. And um, it is going to come a time in which that perception is no longer going to serve you. But as long as it serves you, serves you, you can you can choose to learn from that. And something that um, I think could help somebody that's in this perceptual place is to to find and listen to your truth. Like really go deep inside yourself and listen to your own truth. What's your God telling you? That's like that's gonna be like your your compass because you can. You can be so focused on the other person that's not present because you are in separation, right? You can be so focused on, oh, this person is blocking me, or this person doesn't really love me, or I have to let go from this person. Like, And those are just stories. What's your truth telling you? And what do you need to let go in order to be aligned with that truth? And that's the work, you know? That's how I see it. <laughs> Can you say that part again about like what you need to let go of to be aligned with that truth? Yes, it's like find that truth within yourself. And I'm gonna put my example here, like for my personal experience. Is so I I found my truth, and the truth is that yes, we had a lot of conflicts in the past, my twin flame, my twin flame and I, and um, we were in separation, right? And I was very hurt, and like. I could totally label, if I wanted, I could label that relationship as a toxic relationship and yada yada. And my truth was that I love her. And there's nothing I can do to fight that. And that's my truth. You know, and, and I found that. That's the first step. Second step, what do I need to let go in order to be fully aligned with this truth? I need I needed to let go and I still do needed to let go of my judgment. I needed to let go my expectations. I needed to let go my ideas of what love should look like. My old paradigm of relationships. My lack of self-worth. All of that. And, and that's just, you know, just letting go of those old stories that inhabit our bodies in order for us to be aligned with the truth that lives within us, you know, for me, that's like it, you know, 